to five minutes of Finney. I am joining you from Amsterdam, um, actually in South Amsterdam area in Demon Zud. Um, excuse my pronunciation of Dutch to start off with because I'm horrible at it. Um, can't pronounce it at all. So from the beginning, if I say anything wrong, sorry, I've tried. I, I really have tried. I'm horrible at it. So anyhow, uh, we are trying four beers today uh, because I cannot take them back with me and uh, I'm just going to quickly try them and see how they are. Uh, these are from Jopen Brewery, um, which is in Harlem area. Uh, they actually have an industrial estate with a huge brewery production area in there and then the church brewery as well, which has a restaurant and the bar area and both of them have like, you know, the tap rooms in the brewery and yeah, they're great. We went there, checked out the entire place uh, for ABBC and um, they're really, really um, welcoming and uh, just got to try a few of the beers and had some good food paired with with the beers and just overall really really welcoming and um, really enjoyed it so anyhow uh, I'm trying four beers this is Franz Hals uh, which comes in at six percent um, and it is named after a, a famous artist apparently um, and then we have Robin Beer uh, which is apparently a blondish ale uh, Quart Groot beer, uh, which is done with a spice of sorts. And a join it there. Um, and of course, I will go uh, from lowest percent to highest percent as I normally do. And yeah, so anyhow, we'll get started. So Franz Hales is the, the lowest percent, the six percent. And this is uh, in the Coot or Coot style. Um, and it apparently they did this one with a um, saison yeast. And it's done with like oat, barley, and, and wheat grain. So we will give this a small taste. There it is. Lovely glass here with my little roses. Um, it is a nice light blonde color. Um, it's a little bit cloudy, but I think that is actually to the style. Nice um, creamy thick white head on that. And it's got a nice citrus dry you know, citrus lemon peel type of a nose on that it's got a very dry sweetness to it um, a light light citrus going on in there maybe like lemon custard very very dry very light. I'd say that'd be super easy drinking for um, 6% on that. Moving on, we have Hoppin' Beer. That comes in at 6.8%. Um, they say this is the only triple grain double hopped beer in the world. Um, not really sure <laughs> what they mean by that. But anyhow, <laughs> uh, we'll give this a small taste. Uh, That is still a fairly light color, maybe a slight bit darker than the last one. Um, but I know it's hard to tell with the roses on my glass, but and it has a similar uh, head on there. That's a much crisper, fresher nose. Um, orange and mango, actually a bit of pineapple on there as well. Nice and fresh. This isn't. It's nice and light. Citrusy, actually almost like a fresh squeezed lemon, a grapefruit actually, yeah. Definitely a very, very fresh tasting though. Very light and very, yeah, yeah, definitely cool. Then we have Quet Grut beer, which is very, apparently brewed with Grut, which um, is a blend of mixed herbs of sorts um, from sweet Gale um, and sweet gale is picked, and apparently, to avoid hallucinogenic, hallucinogenic properties of it, it must be picked at the full moon by nude witches. I wonder if they still do that. I mean, I don't know. I've never seen a nude witch, so I don't know if they even have them here. But otherwise, it might be hallucinogenic, apparently. So, maybe that's what they're going for. 
This is obviously a much darker beer. Um, and the head is not as thick, but still, still there, sticking to the glass. So it has like a more of a maybe a bit of clove, a bit of cinnamon, uh, something fruity about it as well. Cherry. There's nothing a bit of spice going on in there. Can't think of what the spice is right now. Ginger, ginger. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. That's really spicy. Um, but it's a sweet spice. It's all, almost like gingerbread, actually. It reminds me of like a gingerbread or... Um, yeah. Ginger or cinnamon, yeah. It's like, yeah. Interesting. Be really good as like a holiday beer, almost. As right, so we have... Johann Nieter. That's not maybe a German accent. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. This is a Doppelbeck, and this comes in at nine percent. And uh, this is apparently named after a um, like a, a monastery or something with monks that used to brew the beer. And the monastery has a really long name, and I can't pronounce it, so I'm not going to even try. This is obviously the darkest one. Even in the light, it's quite dark. Um, maybe a very, very dark brown. And a nice, thick, um, brown foam. The uh, nose is almost like a deep molasses. I get a bit of roasted, roasted coffee on that. A bit of like baking chocolate. It's just almost all, something foresty about it too. Oh wow, got some really deep and rich. It definitely has a bit of chocolate taste to it actually. It's like a rich deep chocolate going on in there. And then a musty earthy tones as well. Um, maybe hints of like dark cherry. It's interesting. Not sure if any of these beers should actually be drunk together because they're very very different. They're all extremely different from each other to be honest. But you gotta do what you gotta do. And that is what I had to do. Four beers at once. So that was beers from Joven. Um, in Harlem, Netherlands, uh, and uh, this, little, this is the little cap. Uh, yeah, and so that was quite interesting. Um, all of them actually were quite good. Um, the first two were fairly easy drinkers, and then the next two were um, probably ones I would only have one, like glass of at the time. Not as sessionable, but they're still quite interesting um, beers, in my opinion. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, visiting their brewery and kind of seeing the differences in breweries here in Amsterdam than the breweries here in Ireland, or breweries in Ireland and um, other parts of the world I visited. So quite interesting to see the similarities and differences between the, all of them. And uh, nice to kind of just meet people um, in different parts of the world and see what they're doing with their beer. So no, it's interesting because they have, they actually definitely have a variety of styles, which is cool. Um, and quite good. So anyhow, that is me from my Airbnb, uh, giving you a quick, or not so quick maybe, five minutes of Finny, Sharp Wayne. Shut up, Mr. Beer Snob. Fuck off. And so, uh, that was Shopping Beer. And please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And next time I will be back in Ireland, hopefully, with more beer reviews or something else. Cheers, so!